Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Solitripper here, back with another video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be making custom items inside of Minecraft Bedrock. So the first thing you guys need to do is go down in the description below and download a block bench if you haven't already got it. So let's start a block bench and get started. So guys, when you load up block bench, what you guys want to do is go to the top left here and click on file. Then you guys are going to go down to plugins and you guys are going to look for the Minecraft item wizard. This is made by the owner of block bench and Mojang studios. You want to come over here to the plus and click on install. Then once you guys have installed it, you guys are going to come down here to where it says loaders and you guys are going to click on Minecraft item wizard just like that. Then you're going to click this big button here that says create an item. So as you guys can see, we've got a preset that we can select here, such as an ore or a general item. We can select an apple, which is a food source, so we can make a different type of food source. We can pick from a sword to make a custom weapon. We can pick a pickaxe and any of the armor types. So I'm going to click on apple and we're going to make a custom food source in today's video. So we're going to click on next. And for the naming, this is what you guys will choose to have the display name. When you hold the item, it'll be the little name that shows up when you hold the item. So what we're going to do, we're going to type in blue apple, just like that. And for my custom identifier, I'm going to type in solus blue apple. Now the stack size we're going to leave as 64. I don't recommend going over this. The max stack size is 99, but it can be a little bit buggy if you do that. And Blockbench won't allow you to go over that number anyway. If I was to press enter, it'll just reset back to 64. But trying to go over 99, the game won't let you anyway. So there's no point in trying and going above 64 can create bugs. So just stick to a maximum stack size of 64 or below that. Now for the creative category, you guys can click on whatever you want. I'm going to click on items. Um, and for this, I'm going to leave as none because I don't want it to add on to anything else that we have in the creative menu as it is a custom item. But you guys can select whatever you guys want inside of there. Now we're going to click on next and this is where it will give you the functionality of the item. So how your item is going to behave. So of course mine is a food and my food type is going to be food. My eat duration is going to be 1.6 but you guys can change that to 0.5 if you want it to be really really fast. We're just going to put it as 1.6 and the saturation I'm going to put this as num2. So we're going to put always uh, that you can always eat it. So we're going to check that because we want people to always be able to eat it, even if they're at full hunger. Now we can have this as furnace fuel if we want, but I'm not going to make mine furnace fuel, but I will explain this to you. So this will make it as good as coal and you can make it all the way up to coal blocks or even more powerful by putting a custom number in here. Um, or you can make it absolutely useless and put it as 0 0.5 or even 0 0.1 and it will instantly instantly go away but we can obviously turn that off because we're not doing it we're going to add a cooldown to ours uh we're going to make it a five second cooldown and the category we can put obviously a cooldown category if we have a custom cooldown category but i'm not going to put a custom cooldown category because i want my food to be on its own own category but if you was making another um item uh, you guys can obviously put a cooldown category of like test in here and then in the other custom item that you make if you put test they'll have the same cooldown when you try to use one or two it's pretty cool if you're making some magic items and you want them all to have a cooldown um then obviously you can set that up down here so let's click on next and we're going to make ours an icon and we're going to make it shine so I'm not going to make a 3D model um, because it doesn't have an animation to it. But you guys can make a 3D model if you want to. Um, but I'm just going to make mine an icon. Now, this is where the easy part comes into it, where Blockbench does all of the nitty gritty behind the scenes for you. 
So you can either integrate this into a pack. So if you guys watched my previous video on making custom blocks, you guys will know that I made half logs. And as you guys can see, when I click integrate into pack, the half logs pack comes up. Um, or you can export it as an MC add-on. This just allows you to share it straight away if you was putting it on um, MCPEDL or anything like that or sharing it to your friends. And obviously you can export it as an MC add-on straight away. Or you can export it to a folder and this will put it in your development behavior pack folder and your development resource packs folder. And where you can create a pack name and an author. So my pack name is going to be custom food just like that and for the pack authors i'm going to put solus then you can select a pack icon if you want to or you can just leave it as blank and blockbench will make one for you after that you're going to click on next and then click on next now this is where you would mess around with the texture of your item so i'm not going to go into much detail about customizing your item because you guys should really know it's pretty easy to do uh there's coloring right here that you can mess around with uh there's different tools up here like the paint bucket if you want to make your entire thing a blue you know square or whatever um there's an eraser here if you want to get rid of some things to make it invisible uh or erase it <laughs> basically make it invisible um, and other things like that um, but I'm just gonna make a weird looking apple here uh, we're just gonna make a blue um, mixed apple uh, I'm not gonna put too much time into this um, we're just gonna do this why not this does not look good at all um, <laughs> But, yeah, we're just going to leave it like that. Okay, that is my blue apple. Um, <laughs> but when you're done, uh, you guys can press Control S and that will save it. Um, so let's go back to this. There we go. And just Control S and that will save it for you guys. Then you guys want to open up Minecraft and go to your world that you want to put it on. Click on the little pen here. And then go down to resource packs and you guys should see in my packs there should be a custom food resource pack that we can activate and in behavior packs there should be a custom food behavior pack that we can also activate once you do that you guys can then click on play and load up the world so guys here we are inside of the world what you're going to do now is you're going to open up chat and you guys are going to type in give at s and then you guys are going to type in your identifier and as you guys can see mine was soulless apple so i did it and as you guys can see we've got a blue apple in here with a uh, shining effect because we turned on item glint and as you guys can see we can eat it and as you can see it has a cooldown as you guys can see, there we go. We have no hunger now. So effect as clear. So we have no hunger at all. And now when we eat this, as you guys can see, it gave us two hunger bars. But you guys, that is how you make custom items for Minecraft Bedrock. If this video did help you, please do leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel to help this channel grow. Anyway guys, it's B-Boy Solus. Don't forget to stay solus and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.